Hello, I'm John Henry from Bywell Shooting Ground and I'm here in the Parati factory in Italy to show you what was involved in the journey of a made-to-measure Parati shotgun. First of all, I'd like to introduce Chris Willett. Chris visited us in the gun room five months ago to order a made-to-measure Parati. At that initial stage, Chris decided on the model and overall specification of his new gun. This is always done before the factory visit so the metalwork of the gun can be produced in advance of the trip. Back at Bywell, we have a large selection of Parazzi's available to try on our ranges. Helping you make well-informed choices on the model, grade, barrel length, rib style, choke configuration and weight and feeling of your new Parazzi. We then draw up a specification sheet for the new gun and place an order with the Parazzi, with a note that the customer will visit the factory accompanied by us for a made-to-measure stock and forend. Once the metalwork of the gun has been completed, we find ourselves here in Italy, five months on. And here is Chris's gun. The model of gun Chris has chosen is a high-tech S, and because Chris is a bit of a Prati fan, he has gone for the limited edition 60th anniversary model. This gun has been built as a sporting clays gun, rather than a game gun or a trap gun. It features a reverse taper rib, which is unique on all high-tech models. It has 32 inch barrels, fixed choke half and half, overboard 18.5 barrels, a non-dropout trigger mechanism with coil springs and a barrel selector on the safety catch. It also has ventilated side ribs and a light mono block. This helps give the 32 inch barrels a long pointable feel that Chris required. Chris decided all these features with our help five months ago back in our gun room at Bywell. Of course None of these features or the maintenance measure service is an extra cost and that is why so many are choosing our Prati maintenance measure service. Before we came out to Italy we also looked at Chris's style of mounting a gun and watched him shoot some targets on our ranges. We pattern play tested his existing Parazzi and drew up a guide specification sheet for his maintenance measure woodwork. We ran through all the different stock and foreign styles which were available and decided roughly the shape and style of what he wanted. Doing all this back at Bywell gives more time to decide on what you want. So when you arrive at the factory, you have a clear vision of your new gun. So now we are going to meet Mr. Fabrizio Salvanini, Parazzi's main stock fitter. Buongiorno Fabrizio. Vorrei and Fraduro Chris Willett. Buongiorno. Fabrizio is going to use a Parazzi trigun, which is fully adjustable to ascertain Chris's dimensions. We are then going to test fire the trigun at the pattern plate. This will assess what height, cast, length of pull is required of the new stock to make it shoot exactly where Chris looks. At all times, when you see the gun closed in this factory area, the chamber is empty, so don't worry. Fabrizio has adjusted the stock to where he thinks the pattern will suit Chris. We now need to test fire the trigun and if needed, make some further adjustments so it is perfect. Chris, what I'd like you to do is take a shot at the pattern plate, aim directly at the centre light just like we practiced back at Bywell. Try not to squash too tightly into the stock. Take your time when you're ready. Chris. This pattern has been shot at a distance of 30 metres and looks very good. From our own testing back at Bywell, you are looking for a gun that shoots exactly where you look. A 50-50 pattern. Mm. If you imagine a horizontal centre line running through the, the dot in the middle, the light, we're looking for 50% of the pattern above and 50% of the pattern below. We're also looking to see if the pattern is central in terms of the cast and the stock. I think it looks very good. Yeah, I'm pleased this. Yeah. Yeah? So, this is really because of our testing back at home, that you practice mounting the gun, you practice shooting a pattern plate, so sometimes this takes further attempts and further adjustments of the tri-stock, but because of our work before the trip, I think this pattern is good enough to yeah. take the dimensions of yeah. the gun. I'm happy with that, that's good, thank you. Chris would like to have a palm swell shaped into the grip of the stock like this one. 
This will help fill out his hand and make sure he holds the gun correctly. He would also like to have a slim sporting beaver tail forend. This fluted design again helps grip the forend correctly and comfortably. Of course, the size of both the grip and the forend will be matched to suit the size of Chris's hands. As you can see, there's quite a few recoil pads to choose from. This thin, soft style one is the one Chris has chosen. There are two styles of stock finish, oiled or lacquered. Chris has chosen the harder wearing, more waterproof lacquer finish. OK, we now need to choose the wood. Fabrizio now has all the stock dimensions. So all that is left is for Chris to choose a piece of timber that he likes. The wood is batched in different grades in the wood room. Chris is choosing from the SEO grade, which is one of the higher grades. Chris has narrowed down his choice to three from a selection of 50 blanks. As you can see, all three are very well figured. It can be difficult to imagine what they will look like once they are shaped out and the finished stock is lacquered. I have helped Chris shortlist these three stocks by looking at the way the grain runs through the timber. The weight and density needs to be considered when choosing a stock blank in order to match with the barrel length and the weight to give the gun a balanced feeling. So Chris, this morning's hard work has been done, uh, all the dimensions have been ascertained and you've chosen your wood. What we're going to do is we're going to go for a spot of lunch and come back this afternoon when you can test fire your new gun with a new stock and fall end fitted. Then we're going to just check the fit of it once again and hopefully everything will be perfect. Okay? The stock and fore end isn't finished yet. Now it's time for the second fit. We need to go and pat and test the gun. This needs to be done before the check ring is added to the stock or the lacquering process starts. Chris, I don't want you to think too much about the size of the grip just yet or how the fore end feels. Let's keep our main focus on the height and the cast of the gun. What I want you to be is very, very consistent in mounting the gun at the pattern plate. Be gentle, you know, don't squeeze in too tight unnaturally. We've got loads of time, we've got plenty of time to do a few shots if that's what it takes. So, okay? Okay, fine. Right. So Chris, the pattern looks really good. I don't think you could get any better than that. It's nice and central and 50-50. Are you happy with that? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, it's good, yeah, very yeah. good, yeah. Now, what I want you to do is dry mount the gun and think about the grip and the stock in the fore end. Okay, so if I can just turn you around and mount up, chamber's empty, mount it up and just feel about the grip in the fore end. Okay, does the grip feel too big? The grip feels fine, but the fore end feels a bit too fat. So if you mount it, is it this, this edge here? Could that be lowered? I think it could, yeah. Yeah? yeah. It wants to be lower? Yeah. OK. So what we'll do now is we'll go and see the stockers again yeah. and we'll tell them that you want to bring them yeah. down two millimetres on the fore end. OK. OK? Fantastic. Okay, Chris, now let's just mount it up and just because our forearm radius is being lowered, I just want you to just feel if it's low enough for you and the forearm slim enough. Chamber? Yeah, excellent. Well, that looks better. Yeah. Definitely. It feels better. Huh? It looks as though your fingers are gripping yeah, right yeah, round where yeah. before we it was just not quite too down. Too wide. That's right. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Cheers. So now the fitting is complete and here comes a question everyone always wants to know. When will my new gun be finished? The sock and fore end still needs to be checkered and this is done by hand. Also the wood needs to be lacquered. 
then it is packed up and exported to the UK. It should arrive in four to five weeks. So Chris, now our work in the factory is finished. With the benefit of coming to Bywell and running through this entire fitting process and draft, it has enabled you to tell Maro Prazzi and his team exactly what you were looking for in a perfect gun. It has also given you the confidence in your choices of specification for your new Mate and Measure Prazzi shotgun. I'm here with Maro Parazzi, the man behind the family name, whose passion for his guns have ensured they stood the test of time. This year is a big anniversary for Parazzi, as it is their 60th year in business. My family has been a Parazzi dealer since 1992 and has seen a huge growth in sales of Parazzi's over the 25 years. In our early years, Parazzi's were predominantly trap models, which was our largest seller. Now, the market is split into trap, sporting clear models and largest of all, game models. Parazzi have always offered a complimentary mate and measure service and over the past few years we have seen this demand increase. Maru, why do you feel this is important to get the gun made to measure? But that's really very, very important because every shooter or every hunter has a different uh, body shape, so different length of arm, cheek, uh, eyes, uh, so it's really absolutely necessary to customize the stock uh, here in the factory. Maru, as you know, we assist our customers with the process of mate and measure parazzis from start to finish, including accompanying them on these factory visits. What benefits do you see from the service that we offer? Yeah, this is a great help for us because you already know the customer, you already know how they shoot, so you have already an idea. When you come here with them, for us it's much easier with our trial gun to fit you know, the height, the cast, the length, try the gun in the testing room and uh, get all the measures, yes, very important. Maro, I have visited the factory many times. The customers who accompany me feel during a visit they are made to feel welcome, whether they're a professional Olympian shooter or a relative novice. The common thing that people say is they're feeling they're part of the Parazzi team and family by the time they leave. I thank you once again for looking after us and look forward to our next visit. I thank you very, very much. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Six weeks have passed and the gun has arrived at Bywell, ready for Chris to collect and try out on one of our ranges. As you can see, the gun looks fantastic. Note the signature on the barrels and the beautiful deep figuring in the stock and fore end. Hi John, how are you? Hi Chris, welcome Good. back. Yeah, thank you, yeah. thank you. New guns here? Is it? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yep, we'll open it up and you can have a look. Nice. It's obviously a leather, leather yeah. high-tech case. Oh, it's got a number in as well. Yeah, yeah, 33 out of 60. That's brilliant. That was a 30. So, there's a gun. So what we'll do is, we'll put it together here, I'll grease it up and get it going, and then we'll nip outside and have a quick shot, and we'll just see how the gun performs with you. Okay. okay. So, so we'll mount it up in here and have a few bits of practice mounts yeah. first though, okay? Chris, you did well there. The proof of the gun's always in the shooting. I hope you're pleased with the finished article and feel the entire weight and measure process has really been worth it. Um, just wish best of luck with your new gun. I hope you really enjoy shooting it and owning such a fantastic gun that both of us have helped, helped build together, you know, yeah. in design. Fantastic, a true team effort, really is. Thank you. Chris, thank you.